It's the Rockman, back at it again with another arm day. Machine dips, this is my big day. Four sets of ten, and then a potential AMRAP. I record my first set and my fourth set to make sure that my reps are consistent and strict throughout. I use these sets to really groove so that I can hit that AMRAP. I was able to get a couple more this week. And I think what's happening here with these AMRAPs is that because of my height, I'm able to take advantage of better leverages, especially on the touch and go, and I can cheat it a little bit. So I'm totally at peace with that <laughs> because it's helping me work around some overuse injuries and I get a lot of stress on my triceps and it's good dynamic work. It gets a lot of blood moving, good healing. I am all about it. So for the moment anyway. And I got a couple more reps this week. Felt pretty good. Anything around 20, though, I would be happy with. This is what this video is all about, though. Them bicep curls. Yeah, I had to throw the chains on the 100-pounder and take it for a little ride. I would say RPE 7.5. Uh, I think I could grind out 5.0. And since I was a douche with all these people in the gym and I busted out the chains <laughs> for barbell curls, I had to do all my tricep work with them on there like I wasn't a... <laughs> uh, that guy, but I am that guy. That is the only reason I got the fucking chains out because I would rather do these on the cable with the more consistent tension. I feel like I get more out of it. Uh, these were hard as fuck, but I wouldn't say that it was more productive than I would have got on the cables. And it definitely stressed my elbow a little bit more at lockout, which is where I'm kind of having problems with it. So I did my three sets of 10 or whatever. This was the last set, so I went a few extra. And my camera ran out of juice, so... I am going to go ahead and throw in Saturday's workout, too. Typically, this is the one where I do three sets of 10 and use it as a recovery day, or I go higher volume and less weight and do the same type of active recovery day. But since I changed the way I was doing them, I just wanted to see if I could complete all five sets with the red band choked off on it. It adds about 20 pounds at the bottom. I know that. And I have no idea what it adds at lockout. More than that, uh, it doesn't really matter in pounds anyway because it's a band. But it does make it significantly different to the point where I only have four of these sets included. Because on the second set, I was just curious. Could I still utilize that little bit of elastic rebound I get from the cable kind of the way that I slow it down and it stretches the cable and then just the, that light touch on those rubber bumpers the way that I'm chewing the machine out of extra reps because <laughs> 24 24 is too many you know it's not representative of what what I could do uh, strict which is probably I don't know on a good day it's definitely 16 on most days 15 16 on most days so it's close enough to a uh, strength training range that I'm able to get something out of it, right? With the volume. And yeah, no, I was not able to use any type of rebound whatsoever to get any extra reps. In fact, it punished the absolute hell out of me. It put more stress on my triceps that... Uh, try and go fast and then it fucking absolutely stapled it in the bottom position which is good in some respects uh, part of that is I went heavier on rows today than I have been and I don't remember how many sets of these I did uh, six to eight working sets with this weight um, and the only one I recorded was set number five because it was right before I took my five-minute rest for the fifth set of the dips. And, uh, yeah, those are fun. 
And then I did the barbell curls for hypertrophy today. This was the third set of 10, and I'm cheating them pretty fucking hard here. But I don't... I don't give a shit. They're cheat curls. I know that they're cheat curls, right? Otherwise, I would have my back up against the fucking wall. Um, and really, the thing that I get the most out of these, besides the bicep activation, is the shoulder stimulation. So, uh, extra benefits of stabilizing the shoulders with the bicep tendon. And I think I... <laughs> oh, man, look at that. Uh, it's fucking... <laughs> Arnold Cheaters, baby. Hope you guys are training strong, and as always, thanks for watching.